Hello! Oh me, we're gonna go... There's some more- Oh no, this is the zombie party room. I'm getting out of here. Uh, we're gonna explore some more. I'm gonna go back. And get the book that I missed in the one dark room. And we're gonna read that. I'm gonna have a good time. I'm so scared of the circles. I don't know what they- I guess it's like an evil entity. But there's nothing I can do about it. Don't go near that. Don't go up the stairs. No, don't don't go up the stairs. Back down the stairs. And to the left. Uh, there's the dark room. Just gonna get the thingy ready. Lamp is off. Gotta use the match. Okay, the lamp's on. I like how it starts with okay, because it sounds like me. Did I choose to- I don't think I- We're wasting lamp! How did I get over here? Put the lamp away. Uh, yeah, just get the knife out. I swear I didn't go that way. I guess it's the stairs. Where am I? Right, okay, this is the hallway. No, not that one. I don't know what's in there. I'm not ready for that one yet. <laughs> Go into the dark room. I think. No. Packing it up. Mm, this is the dark room. Okay. Got the heavy statuette. Got the book. I think that's all there is in this room. Gonna read the book. A brightness from afar by Lord Bolliskin. An account of his okay. <laughs> Following a splendid journey, the sunny harbor came into sight. The locals were much impressed with one's arrival in their midst. One had time to sketch several of them and notice signs of degeneracy. Some children showed one their queer hands that would inspire uneasiness. I'm not sure what they're trying to say. But Upon that. the promise of a few coins, a child has undertaken to reveal to one a most prodigious phenomenon of a natural order. One admits to being skeptical as to the prodigiousness of the marvel, whatever it may be. Indeed, one suspects it to be little more than an evening stroll to some charming wooden hut situated in the forest hereabouts. One will nonetheless go, for it is always well to submit to such local enthusiasms. One admits to being somewhat flabbergasted. The Milky Way shone like the fires of the apocalypse from the inky celestial vault. Certain distant stars normally invisible to the naked eye were clearly visible, glittering indeed with a strange intensity. The heavy clouds that had settled above the village had no hold over that place. It would be pointless to offer here the names of the constellations one perceived in utter clarity. Apart from the interminable length of such a list, one might conceivably risk being charged with exaggeration. Mm, he already sounds like he's exaggerating. Cast its shadow on the ground. The sea in the distance was dead calm. 
Tonight, one will return to that spot and draw those stars. Tomorrow night, one will at last see Halley's Comet in all its brilliance. Okay. The youngster will carry torches, despite one's developed sense of direction. Honed by years of travel, one feels incapable of finding one's way through the dark forest unaided. <laughs> the drawings will, one is convinced, set light to the souls of men. Such a moon! One lost count of the craters, so <laughs> sharply was their definition. Loath as one is to seem excessive in one's appraisal, one cannot but feel that the forest clearing is indeed a place outside the common laws of time and space. Surely it is not an hallucination. How strange to consider that idle conversation, some research in the British Museum, and a voyage to this backward village should culminate in so astounding a discovery. It may be that others have noticed the extraordinary nature of that place. How else could one explain the presence of that cross? It didn't have the guy that I really liked voice acting it, so it wasn't as fun. But it was a neat story. I couldn't tell if he was like actually British or he was kind of given like a little bit of a Scottish accent there. Or theatrics. Yeah. I mean, it was very visual. Okay, okay, okay. Getting ready for this one. Been here. Oh god, I hate those things. It's on the bed! Get off the bed! Don't give up on me now. Gave up on me. Now I have to do all that again. Maybe I should save more than... Wait, no! I didn't mean to. I'm just gonna... Thing was dangerous. Oh, that's the circle room. Don't go in there. In the mansion. And there's that noise again. The matches. The kitchen. And I think when I get to the dark room again, I'm just going to save it because I've done that three times already. We're here. Get the double knife. Got one knife. There we go. The double knife. Gonna get out of here. Actually, I think low in the hallway might be a shortcut. Not the weird mothball room. But this one. Nope. Not that one. Oh, 
turn back here. And we gotta go up. There we go. Going up. And then we have to go to the door to a hallway. Boarding that guy. Right, okay, going the right way. Gonna light the lantern. Wait, gotta turn it on. Okay. Get the heavy head to it. Get the book. Turn around. Well, actually, I need to probably get out of here first. Okay. I'm gonna save. Go this way. Right, the stupid dog comes out. No, this is the painting room. Oh, uh, hmm. Mm, I have an idea. Maybe. Ah! Huh. You can't get me now. sure what to do about the air. <laughs> we got the axe. It's all the way at the bottom. Okay, gotta do something about arrows. I guess if I had, a, had arrows for my bow, I could do it. To shoot first. Uh, that's, did I go in this one? <sighs> right. I don't know if this is actually a good idea or not. What was that? That's not the sound a curtain should make. Nothing important. Get the notebook. Okay, we killed it. We killed it, we killed it. Just gonna make sure I didn't miss anything. Okay. Okay, I'm actually save it there because I hate fighting those those thingies. Anyway. Hopefully I 
Oh, now he's now he runs. Was it the curtain that made the? I guess I don't know. I think that's a good place to stop. Just gonna bring out the menu so nothing attacks me. Thank you for joining me on on, on this episode of Alone in the Dark, and I hope to see you in the next part.